Hey everybody, this is Brian at Obedia, and this is how to export your mix down from Pro Tools 9. This is real easy to do. It's probably the easiest in all of the iterations of Pro Tools, so let's jump right into it. First thing that I need to do is decide how much of my production I would like to export as an audio mix down. To do that, I move my mouse into the ruler section here in the top of my edit window. I click and I drag. And now, this is going to select the section of audio which I would like to export. Now I can change this by mousing over these little blue arrows here and just moving the selection around. So typically you're going to want to start from the beginning of your production and go until the end of the last waveform which is making sound in your project. So after you have done that and you know how much audio you would like to export as a mix down, click on File, select Bounce 2, and disk. This is going to open the bounce dialog box. Now here in the bounce dialog box we can choose our bounce source. We can select from various input, various outputs on our audio card. Uh, now typically you're just probably going to want to use your output 1, 2 or whatever your primary output is on your audio card connected to your computer. Then we take a look at the file type section here. A wave formatted file is what you're usually going to use if you are moving to the mastering process or burning to a CD. That's really the same with AIFF. Now MP3 support is built into Pro Tools 9. You no longer in Pro Tools 9 need to purchase the extension from Avid uh, with which to be able to export to MP3. So you can select MP3 from here. You can also select QuickTime and Windows Media. Uh, this is useful if you're working in video. Now we also need to select the format we're going to work with. If we click and drag down on this menu, we'll see mono summed, multiple mono, interleaved. Usually you're going to want to uh, create a stereo interleaved mix down. Our bit depth is going to define the uh, overall bit depth and quality of the audio file. Now usually, again, if you're going to be going to a CD, you're probably going to make a 16-bit audio file with a sample rate of 44.1 kilohertz. Now, however, you notice when I click on this sample rate box right here, I get a lot of different options. So there are many different sample rates that I can choose from depending on my project and where I'm going to be taking my audio to. And then I have the option for convert during bounce and convert after bounce. Now, one thing that people ask a lot is, can I just bounce down the audio without having to listen to it being played back? Unfortunately, the answer here is no. There is not a way to do an offline bounce at this time. Um, what this means is that you cannot uh, bounce your audio to your disk uh, without having to listen to it play back in Pro Tools. So there is not an offline bounce option right now. There may be at some other point down the road uh, in the production of Pro Tools. We will have to see, but for now, you are going to have to be mindful of, yes, I'm ready to bounce this track down, because if you're not, you're going to end up listening to it a lot. So as long as you know that, you can select Convert During or After Bounce. Either of these is really going to be just fine um, in the long run um, because either way, Pro Tools is going to convert the song uh, to the proper file format. Um, it just depends on when, if it's going to do it during or after. Sometimes uh, doing it after will be a little less uh, heavy load-wise on your computer and on your CPU. Um, if you can, you can do a convert during bounce, and that means the file will just be created while you're bouncing down. When you're done with all of these uh, various options, all that you need to do is click on bounce, and then you're going to be asked where you would like to save the file. You simply need to give it a name, and uh, we'll just call this song. And after you've get it, given it a name, you can click on save, and you're going to hear this file play back, and you will have a bounce down ready to go. And after you've bounced to disk, your audio file will be ready to go. Now you can import it into your burning software or anything else that you might be working on. I hope this is useful to you guys. As always, stay in touch with me, brian at obedia.com or on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obediatutor. And until next time, thanks very much. Keep watching and happy music making to you.